Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I wanted to do a video that um, someone had inspired me to make and that is going to be some of my favorite thriller recommendations. I have been reading thriller again for a few years now and I have, um, you know, just things that I've read over the years. I went through my Goodreads list and I was able to Put together some of my favorites. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first one is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. So this one is actually the book that got me back into reading when I picked it back up in 2019 and this is one of my favorites. I have found Ruth Ware to be pretty polarizing. Um, if you like a certain, like if you like some books of hers, you may not like others. Um, they tend to be very divided on which, which one you're in. Um, so this one here is about a woman who is a journalist, I believe. It's been a few years since I've read it. So, um, and she is on a big ship and there is a woman that she meets who disappears. So she's trying to figure out who that woman is, what happened to her, and it's very good. Um, I really, really, really recommend The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. So it's got a lot of things that kind of make you think you know what's going on and then it'll show you something else and that is entirely what I love in a thriller. So the next one is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I've read all of Sager's books. This is his most recent. And I love this one the most. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen it all over the social medias if you follow a lot of book accounts. But this one's really great. So we have Charlie who is sharing a ride with somebody who may be the campus killer. I've talked about this a little bit in my other videos, so I don't really want to give away too much, but this one does have a bit of an unreliable narrator um, trope to it. So if you like that and are constantly guess trying to guess what is exactly going on or what is actually happening, this is fantastic. So it's set in the 90s, so it's got that great nostalgia um, feeling if, you know, you're old enough like me to have lived through the 90s so um but yeah this was really great I enjoyed it it is my favorite um Sager um the other one that I actually really like by Sager let me grab it I didn't originally because I was only going to do my favorite <clears throat> I didn't grab this originally from my pile because I um was thinking I would only do like one from the author, but this one is just too pretty not to show off. So Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This, I love a supernatural thriller, something that has ghosts in it, maybe ghosts, who knows. Um, so this is really great. It's about a girl who returns home to her family home and is, it kind of reminded me of Haunting a Hill House on Netflix, which I know is based off of the Shirley Jackson, but this is the same kind of, um, the family kind of goes through some of the same things. So highly recommend uh, Survive the Night, Home Before Dark. Um, now the next one you've probably seen around more often as well too is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelites. In this, um, he actually just released another book called The Maidens, which I have it somewhere. Here it is. Here's The Maidens. So here's this one here. Out of the two of these, I prefer this one but I enjoyed both of them. I highly recommend if you're going to read Alex Michaelides, start with The Silent Patient and then read The Maidens because there's a big Easter egg that you won't catch on to if you don't. So, sorry, the lighting's kind of in and out here. The, the weather is fun. Um, so The Silent Patient is about a psychologist who starts working at a mental hospital and there is a very famous patient who had killed her husband 
but she won't talk now. So it's kind of this whole theory. Um, I am a psychology student, so I love anything dealing with mental health, uh, mental health treatment, uh, just anything psychological. I highly recommend this one. It had a twist that I did not expect and my jaw hit the floor and from what I've heard the majority of people do not know what is going to happen. So hopefully this hasn't been spoiled for you yet. Highly recommend The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. So another one is Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Penborough. So this one hopefully you haven't already seen the Netflix show because the Netflix thing did and if you've already watched it, I would say don't waste your time reading this. If you haven't though, read this first because the very last chapter, and don't look ahead, okay? Don't look ahead. So the very last chapter, you think you know what is happening and then you're like, whoa, this is not what I had anticipated. One of my dear friends, Sinead over at Pin Up and Pages, she actually did not like it because of the ending. I loved it because of the ending. I found people either love or hate this one. Hopefully you love it. But basically it is about a woman who is, she gets entangled with this husband and wife. And there's just some really weird things going on. There's kind of some supernatural stuff in here. Um, it's just, it's really interesting. I highly recommend this book here. So some of the other books that I thought of, but I don't have copies of anymore because I've either passed them on to friends or I have unhauled them to make room for new books. Um, the first one I'm going to put right here for you is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. So The Girl on the Train is about a girl on a train and she has a bit of a drinking problem so we've got this unreliable narrator trope going on but what she does is she on this train ride she sees this couple that lives in this house that she always passes on the train and she's made up this like elaborate backstory of who they are well then one day she is certain that the woman's husband has murdered her so this is it's really great i thoroughly enjoyed this one uh it is again unreliable narrator i love an unreliable unreli narrator so hopefully you're not like yeah all of these have the same ideas because it's what I, I like what i like so the next one is the woman in the window by aj finn Ta -da! this one also was made into a netflix movie with is it Amy Adams I think the movie not great if you watched well I guess you already know the ending if you watched it but if you haven't I highly recommend reading it because this one is about a woman who is a psychologist and now she suffers from severe severe agoraphobia which is the fear of outside spaces and people and um, she basically stays in her home, drinks wine, and watches classic old Hollywood movies, which winning in my opinion. So anyways, she um, she becomes fixated on this family that has moved into a house across the way from hers that she can peek on through the window. And then one night she hears a scream and sees basically a murder. So but nobody believes her. So anyways, very good. I enjoyed it. I know some people don't like the author, AJ Finn. I haven't really seen too much about why, um, but I really liked uh, The Women in the Window, so I recommend it. And the last one that I have on the list, ta-da, is The Wives by Taryn Fisher. So this one really was fascinating to me because I grew up Mormon and the idea of polygamy is very uh, prominent within the teachings of the church. They don't, not all Mormons practice it um, and it's not even suggested that you practice it anymore, but it is just um, in the history, there's a lot of polygamy there, Multi multiple wives, so this one is the idea that this woman is with this guy who has two other wives and 
he only comes and visits her like certain nights and whatnot but she starts digging into who these other wives are he's kept it very separate very um private so that they don't you know so that their lives don't cross over one another and yeah she starts to dig and trying to figure out who one of his other wives is very good um so those are going to be my recommendations of like thrillers if you're starting out wanting to get into it um those are going to be pretty standard ones there are some that i have that i have not read yet that are very popular such as gone girl by jillian flynn I haven't even seen the movie uh, somebody spoiled this for me so I'm waiting like a year until I forget <laughs> what it was um, and then oh here's my woman in the window by AJ Finn yeah I completely forgot that I still had this one um, um, oh another one that I really enjoyed is uh, to sundown motel by um, Simone St. James. I believe that's her name. <laughs> um, so that one is about a girl who is trying to figure out something that happened in her family history. I believe it's her aunt went missing. And so she goes to the town where her aunt wor lived and worked at a motel. And there's this is also a very big um, supernatural thriller apparently haunted so it's really great I enjoyed that one as well I don't have my copy of it anymore because I passed that on to a friend but yeah so have you read any of these thrillers or what is your favorite thriller and um, if you want to hang out in the future future videos go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, yeah I look forward to talking with you guys about thrillers again what is your favorite or have you read any of these I look forward to your recommendations. Bye!